Hello mga kaguro, I am Sir Jory, your partner and guide in troubleshooting and working out with your documents. In this video, I will show you how to reset Epson L3110 printer in easy way. So mga kaguro, meron tayong um, L3110 printers dito na kinakailangan ng i-reset. So, I will teach you how to reset this one in a very simple way. So, please watch and listen carefully, okay? First, we need to download the resetter for Epson L3110. After we successfully downloaded the application or resetter, then all you have to do is to install and register it to your PC because this Epson L3110 printer needs to be registered using your device identification number with the use also of the key generator. In downloading this Epson L3110 resetter, it already comes with key generator. So, here in my end, I already installed and registered my device on the resetter. So, I am good to go in resetting Epson L3110 printers. If ever, mga kaguro na mayroong printers kagaya ng Epson L3110 that needs to be reset, I am able to reset that printer because I already have here the resetter installed in my device. And then the next thing that we have to do is to know that the printer needs to be reset. Okay, so how do we know mga kaguro? Um, on the first place, if you're going to turn on the printer, it will show you the red light blinking in the printer itself. And then, if you're trying to turn on the printer and connect it to your laptop or PC, and if you're trying to print a document, it will show an error message saying, Service Required. Okay, if this me message will go and show up your uh, PC or on your screen, you need to reset your Epson L3110 printer. Alright, and resetting this Epson L3110 printer, first, turn on the printer. Okay, right after you turn on the printer, then connect it to the laptop or PC where you are going to reset the printer. Then open and run your resetter. Okay, right after you run the resetter of your Epson L3110 printer, just click Particular Adjustment Mode. Okay, there you can see the, the Particular Adjustment Mode. Okay, just click that one. And then just scroll down all the way to Waste Ink Pad Counter. Okay. I will say it again. Just click waste ink pad counter okay and right after you have clicked the waste ink pad counter it will show you another um options there on your screen and then there are check boxes there that you have to check okay so which one do we have to check there so all you have to do is to check the checkbox in main pad counter okay just click the checkbox in main pad counter then top check okay at the bottom you can 
there's an options right there check and then at the bottom of it is initialize okay right after you click the check box in main pound counter just tap the option check okay as you observe right after you tap the the option check it will show 100 percent it means that the ink pad is already full or in the end of its service life so all we have to do next is to click the check box again in the main pad counter and right at this time just click initialize okay just click initialize after you click initialize then the resetter will prompts you to turn off your printer okay and you have to turn off your printer okay make sure that the printer is off then wait until it is totally off and then turn it back on okay right after you turn it off okay just click OK on the screen and then it will show you that you need to reboot the printer back on okay just turn the printer back on so when it's on the printer will charge the ink on the printer head and you can hear the sound that there has a movement inside it means to say that the printer is now on the process of resetting the ink pad counter okay and then right after the sound stop on the printer just check on your screen and click the check box again in the main ink pad counter okay click and check the check box in the main ink pad counter for us to know if we have successfully reset the printer okay right after you have check the check box in main pad counter then at the bottom you can see right there the option check okay just top the option check we need to be sure that it did turn back to 0% if you see that it did turn back from 100% to 0% it means you're done and successfully resetted your Epson L3110 printer mga kaguro that's how fast and simple it is so you don't need to carry your heavy printer to the service center because you can do it by yourself with the help of this video tutorial I believe we have successfully resetted our Epson L3110 printer so I hope that if ever that your Epson L31 printer in school or at home will going to show you the error message about the service required and then the ink pad counter is already in the end of its service life I hope that you can do it by yourself you can reset your printer without sending it to the nearest service center okay I believe we are done and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share happy working mga kaguro this is sir jory nagpapaalala na don't think all your problem as a burden but rather think that problem as a challenge see you in the next videos have a great day keep safe and god bless you